this is Maz now in Mudbox and just uh, do the wireframe so you can see this is the low poly this is just straight straight from uh, 3d studio um, only problem I had originally was on the headphones here I had 16 edges converging into a vertex here which gave me an error now it's not too bad if you're sculpting but for um, texturing UV mapping baking maps in Mudbox that's a more of a problem
that's it for the main sculpting of the character. Uh, the main thing before I export this for flash print is just to go through and define some of this detail a little bit better, like around the vest here. Um, I can just sculpt out some of these. Uh, the creases on the vest could be a little bit sharper. A lot of this detail is going to get lost in the printing process. Like I put some um, pitting and dents on the goggles and the headphones, and, and this will pretty well get lost. I just don't think they'll pick that up at all. So I can actually get the Amplify tool if I want to and just just run that over some of these areas and that'll just deepen those a little bit. Um, in fact, I can do that over the whole model really. Uh, and some of the detailing suffered a little bit around the waist here because I didn't have enough polys um, like here. So I've really got to work on that a little bit before I export it. So, so I'll just make the best of that I can. I just could have worked a bit better with the uh, the distribution of the polys. Like for the hand, it's it's fine. I had quite a few there, so the hand turned out pretty well. Um, so I'll just do that. Just go over that bit. Sculpt those out. And... Uh, once that's done, I'll try the Amplify tool on the vest as well. Uh, sort of, yeah, it helps a bit, a bit too much. But, and I can just go over some of the fabric a little bit more, refine that, pick up some of these, pick up some of these high points a little bit. Um, so when that's done, I'll just go select model, export, export selection, Maz for print.